It was a special day at Godolphin's John Abel Farm when they had the opportunity to show off their homebred essential quality for the first time to breeders. We stopped in and visited the four-time grade one winner and Breeders Cup champion. I think what has been evident about essential quality from the get-go has just been his class and there's an immense sense of pride with breeding a horse of this caliber. It's hugely gratifying and in one horse epitomizes what we are trying to do. We just couldn't be happier to have him here at the farm. So Essential Quality is the first horse in history to uh, accomplish the uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile uh, Belmont Stakes double. Um, obviously it's a rare achievement, it's a very difficult achievement and it just epitomizes Essential Quality. You know, he had the speed and precocity to win over six on debut, you know, to win two grade ones at a mile and a sixteenth at Keeneland as a two-year-old, but yet have the stamina to win uh, the Belmonts uh, over an enduring mile and a half. So just his versatility, um, and it just didn't really matter what trip he was at, uh, he just would find a way to win and did so so many times. He's a super intelligent horse. His pose, his composure, his intelligence, his class. Um, I think these are all great qualities that he has shown, and I think he showed those in his races. Watching uh, the Jim Dandy, it was a very exciting race. You know, it looked like Louis was, you know, starting his move from, from the midpoint of the race, but I never had a moment's worry because you know what essential quality he's going to be gaining with every yard to the wire, and he's always doing his best work Keep late. Mind. Keep me in mind, and essential quality, they battle it out in the Jim Dandy stakes. Essential quality, what? And obviously, you know, sure enough, it was uh, a little closer at the finish than we would have liked, but that's just him. That's, that's, that's what champions do. Um, you know, same obviously in the Belmont. He just started working, working from midpoint through the race. And again, had a lot of confidence in him that he's just going to be doing his best work late and uh, is going to be gaining with every yard at the line. He's essential quality and he's showing his quality today. The champion two-year-old has won the test of the champion. His will to win and his, uh, you know, his almost sixth sense uh, perception of, of where that finish line is are just some of the traits that, that kind of set him apart. Physically, he's a gorgeous horse, and just a very intelligent, attractive head to him. He just has that, that profile and that presence. He's by Tappet, who we've had a lot of success with. He's out of a, an elusive quality mare. Um, she is a grade three placed mare, a delightful quality. She is, of course, a half sister to Folklore, who was champion two-year-old filly here in North America. And of course, Folklore is the third dam of Contrail, who won the Japanese Triple Crown. You know, he represents some of the best sires that we've had here in North America. So uh, he really is a, 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 an amalgamation of, of all those great sire lines. Essential quality is coming in at a stud fee of 75,000. I think he's all the ingredients to make a successful stallion. You know, it's not easy to get a horse to amass his race record, to present the physical that he presents and to bring the female family. Uh, he's gonna be probably one of the most sought after freshman sires, if not the most sought after freshman sire this year. And his book will certainly reflect that status. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content from the TDN.